What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to fill out your online profile information in TechnoParrot for any games that require that. So if you go down to TechnoParrot, you can see that I have TechnoParrot and I have TechnoParrot subscription. So the first thing you wanna do is figure out which of these two the game is under. So if we go to TechnoParrot right now, I know that Milk Chan is one game that requires an ID, an online profile. If you don't have that filled in, it won't let you play the game. So you try to play Milk Chan, what's gonna happen is it's it's just gonna quit back out to hyperspin if you don't fill out that ID with your personal ID. So it's just gonna start up and then when you get to the point where it tries to connect to the online profile, it'll kick you back out to hyperspin. So if that happens, most likely it's because you need to fill out the ID. So what you wanna do is you wanna exit out and you want to go over to the toolkit and go to exit to windows. Now we have to do a few things to figure out which TechnoParrot emulator that game is being run by. And the reason for that is because I have different instances of TechnoParrot for different reasons. So a very easy way to do that, I'm just gonna close out this window, is go ahead and start up Rocket Launcher. Just gonna maximize the window. And over here on the left, we're gonna look for Sega Ring or uh, TechnoParrot Patreon. Now, it's a little bit confusing because I haven't changed the labels of things on the back end because you know I added this when pretty much only Sega Ring was around before all the other systems and games were added. But what you need to know is that for now, Sega Ring, if you type in Ring up here and you click on Sega Ring, you can see right here it shows the uh, Techno Parrot Pro, um, the Techno Parrot wheel icon, right? So when we were in Hyperspin, you saw Techno Parrot and you saw Techno Parrot subscription. Well, Sega Ring in the back end is really Techno Parrot. I'm going to change this in the future, so this will probably change to just Techno Parrot. But for now, Sega Ring is Techno Parrot. And if you type in Patreon up here, it is, and you click on it, you can see that it's Techno Parrot subscription, which we saw in Hyperspin. So once again, Sega Ring is really Techno Parrot, and Techno Parrot Patreon is really Techno Parrot subscription. They no longer use Patreon, so I have to change that as well. All right, so we do, we're looking at Milk Chan, right? So. We go over here to the modules tab up here. You click there, click the little refresh icon right here, click PC launcher and click this third icon from the right. I'm just gonna maximize the screen and click name to alphabetize. We go down and we look for Milk Chan. And I think I'm on the wrong one. Yep, I'm on the TechnoPara Patreon. So we look, we go back to Sega Ring, which is the regular Patreon. I'm sorry, the regular TechnoParrot. That's where that game was under. Once again, modules tab, PC launcher, third icon from the right. I'm gonna maximize and click name to alphabetize. And now I'm gonna look for Milk Chan. And here it is. All right, so I click on there and you can see application. It shows you the exact path of the emulator we're looking for. So I'm gonna open up a folder over here. I'm gonna go to emulators. I'm gonna go down to TechnoParrot and I'm looking for, see, emulators, Techno Parrot New Exit Enabled. So I'm gonna look over here for Techno Parrot New Exit Enabled. Go in there and double click Techno Parrot UI. And you can see that Milk Chan is right there. So I'm gonna click on it. And over here, you can see there's an online profile button. So I'm gonna click on that. Now that's gonna open up the Techno Parrot website. And when you sign in, I'm not gonna do it because I don't wanna blur things out right now, but you're gonna sign in it's gonna take you to a page that has your online ID. Now, some games have different IDs. This game right here requires an APM3 ID. There's other games that have like an access code and a card ID. But the point is that when you click on that button and you sign in, it'll show you the information that you need to know. And all you do is you highlight that ID, you right click, copy it, and you can close this out. And then you come back over here, go to game settings, and then you paste it right here. And then, and this game, it requires, again, an APM3 ID, so that's all it's showing you there. Uh, this number that's already in here is not a real APM3 ID, that's just a bogus one, and the only reason I fill that out is so that when you start the game, it doesn't give you an error and then cause Windows to stay open and, and makes a mess. This way, it just goes into the game, when it tries to connect, it kicks you back out of the game and it's nice and clean. So, all you gotta do is delete this ID, and right click, paste the one you copied from the website, which is your personal ID, and you click save, that's it. 
Now, different games, like I said, use different kinds of IDs or codes that are going to be on that website automatically when you click on online profile. And then when you go in here, you might have more fields. There might be a lot more things in here, but all you're looking is all you're doing is looking for the field that is specified on the website. And then you type in the ID that you see on the website or you, you know, copy paste it. All right. But that's it, guys. Once you do that, uh, make sure that you do save settings after you paste your personal ID and you back out, you close this out. And then when you go back in there, it's going to uh, when you launch the game, it's going to connect and it's going to work. You know, another game that requires an ID right now is this one here, Umihara. So again, you click on online profile, sign in. It shows you the ID on the screen, highlight, copy it, and then go over here to game settings, delete that one that I include, which again is not a real profile. So delete that one, right click, paste yours, save, back out and close out, close everything out. And when you go back to hyperspin and you start the game, it's going to work. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys on the next one.